proof that Mr. H is still learning how to do this technology stuff. The quiz and the lesson were supposed to be on one video. And for uh, this lesson and this only lesson only, they're going to be on two separate ones, okay? Sorry about that. Um, still learning how to navigate all of this. So like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and read the questions, um, each one with the answer choices, and then I'm just going to go on to the next question. This is for those of you at home that are answering them, that want to answer them on your own before you find out what the right answer is. Okay? Uh, so number one says, what problem does Josie have in this story? Josie's dad does not want his birthday cake. Josie's friend Cece is sick and cannot come over. Josie's friend Cece is not being a good guest. Or Josie's mom won't let Josie play outside. Question two. Which of the following is one way that Josie is similar to Cece? They are both girls. B, they are both guests. C, they are both hostesses. D, they are both rude. Three. Which emotion is Josie feeling when she whispers to Cece to stop that? A, excitement, B, happiness, C, boredom, or D, nervousness. Question four, what does the word polite mean? A, having no patience, B, having good manners, C, having lots of money, or D, having no manners. Having no manners, yes. Uh, five, which event ha uh, happens first after Josie answers the door? CC makes a cake with Josie. B, CC finds Josie's dollhouse. B, CC finds Josie's dollhouse. C, CC runs towards the kitchen. Or D, CC rips Josie's dress. Six, which of the following is one way that Josie is different from CC? A, Josie is a hostess. B, Josie doesn't like to play dress up. C, Josie plays with dolls. Or D, Josie is a girl. Okay. Question seven, what does CC think it means to be a guest? A, CC thinks a guest can do whatever she wants. B, CC thinks that a guest should follow the rules. C, CC thinks that a guest helps around the house. Or D, all of the above. Why does Josie offer CC some cookies? A, because CC is mad at Josie. B, because CC loves cookies. C, because CC wants to eat the cake. Or D, all of the above. Question nine. What does the author most likely want readers? What does the author most likely want readers to learn by the end of the story? A, it is important to play and have fun no matter what. B, it is important to be a good hostess and a good guest. C, it is important for guests to break the rules if they want to have fun. Or D, it is important to do whatever friends want. Question 10, which of the following is an opinion about Josie? A, Josie thinks her birthday is important. B, Josie would like being hostess to a better guest. C, Josie tries to make her guest feel at home. Or D, Josie is a nice girl and CC is not. Okay. If you're wanting to answer those by yourself, like I said, just go ahead and pause the video, talk about that amongst uh, yourself and your child, and then you can hit play for the right answers. Okay. I'm going to go back and we're going to start to answer these questions. Number one, what, what problem does Josie have in the story? The correct answer is C, Josie's friend CC is not being a good guest. Okay. It's very evident because she is just kind of doing whatever she wants and she knows she's a guest and she knows that, <coughs> um, CC knows that Josie is supposed to kind of indulge her and let her do whatever she wants. And she's taking advantage of her. So C, Josie's friend CC is not being a good guest. Question two, which of the following is one way that Josie is similar to CC? Well, they're similar because they're both girls, right? They're both girls hanging out and playing together. So that's choice A. Um, which emotion is Josie feeling when she whispers to Cece to stop that? Okay, to stop that. And that is choice D, nervousness. She's nervous because I believe when she tells her to stop that, she's getting into, um, it's Cece that's getting into some of Josie's mom's stuff, right? Some stuff that does not belong to her. Number four, what does the word polite mean? Is polite, polite means B, having good manners. If you have good manners, that means you're polite. Okay, saying please and thank you and treating people with respect, that is being polite. Which event happens first after Josie answers the door? Um, believe at the very beginning of the story, it's Cece runs towards the kitchen, right? Cece runs towards the kitchen and she tries to get into stuff and then Josie brings her back to her room to play. Which of the 
Question six, which of the following is one way that Josie is different from Cece? Um, I think it's A, Josie is a hostess. She's hosting Cece for the day, right? She's having Cece come over to play. Cece is her guest. Question seven, what does Cece think it means to be a guest? Uh, Cece, I believe it's choice A, Cece thinks uh, guests can do whatever they want. Uh, and it's very evident by her actions in the story, right? She's doing whatever she wants around the house. Eight, why does Josie offer Cece some cookies? Uh, hold on one second. Why does Josie offer Cece some cookies? And that's choice C, because Cece wants to eat the cake, right? And that's her way of trying to distract her from that cake. Uh, nine, what does the author most likely want readers to learn by the end of the story? Uh, I think that the most important thing uh, the author wants us to know is B, it is important to be a good hostess and a good guest. Um, and the reason I think that is because um, we saw what happens when you're not a good guest, right? How does your hostess feel when you're not a good guest? Um, and 10, which of the following is an opinion about Josie? Remember, fact and opinion. A fact is something we can prove. Um, something we have evidence of it happening. An opinion is how we feel about something. Josie thinks her dad's birthday is important. Josie would like to be like would like being hostess to a better guest. Uh, Josie tries to make her guest feel at home, or Josie is a nice girl and Cece is not. If you feel like someone is nice, or you feel like someone isn't, that's your opinion of them. Okay, so that's choice D. Uh, our last question um, is one we're not going to answer. Allowed, um, you can answer with your parent or whoever is a uh, your parent, your guardian, grandma, grandpa, whoever is helping you through these videos. Um, it says to write about what you would do if CC were your friend and acted that way at your house. How would you act, and what would you do? Okay, how would you act if CC was at your house acting like that? Um, would you be like Josie, and would you be nice to her regardless because you're being a good host, or would you tell her she needs to? Um, change the way she's acting a little bit. What do you think? Okay. Talk about that with someone at home. All right. Well, thanks guys. Uh, I will try to, I'll, I'm gonna try to post lessons weekly. Um, and now that I have some of these technology glitches figured out, um, I can get rocking and rolling on that. So I will see you guys later. Okay. Thanks for watching.